The U.S. Marine Corps has successfully tested a new long-range precision fire LRPF capability on the AH-1Z Viper attack helicopter. The test, conducted last November at Yuma Proving Grounds, YPG, in Arizona, demonstrated the Marine Corps' growing ability to employ precision weapons from its aviation assets using advanced targeting and control systems. According to the Naval Air Systems Command, NAVAIR, the AH-1Z executed a single launch using a wireless application via the Marine Air Ground Tablet, MAGTABI. This marks the first instance in which a Marine Corps rotary wing platform has fired a weapon system controlled by a tablet device. The test exceeded threshold requirements for position, navigation, and timing, showcasing the weapon system's effectiveness in both maritime and land-based engagements. Colonel Scott Shadforth, Director of Expeditionary Maritime Aviation. Advanced Development Team emphasized the strategic importance of the LRPF capability, stating, assessments of current and future capability gaps of the fleet's needs identified this LRPF initiative as a cost-effective, long-range precision weapon for use against maritime and land-based targets. The test was part of a broader initiative sponsored by the Office of the Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, OUSDR and E, through the Defense Innovation Acceleration, DIA program. The project, led by XMAADT, aims to evaluate cost-effective, long-range targeting solutions to enhance the Marine Corps' operational effectiveness in expeditionary and maritime environments. The AH-1Z Viper, already a key asset for the Marine Corps' close air support and anti-armor operations, gains a new dimension of capability with this LRPF integration. The use of a tablet-based fire control system, such as the MAGTAB, enhances flexibility by allowing Marines to conduct strikes remotely and with greater situational awareness. This development aligns with the Marine Corps' focus on integrating advanced networking and fire control technologies into its aviation and ground forces. The successful test at YPG underscores the potential for integrating similar long-range, tablet-controlled precision strike capabilities into other Marine Corps aviation platforms. As the service continues to modernize its rotary wing fleet, the LRPF capability on the AH-1Z Viper represents a step forward in adapting to evolving threats and mission requirements. Further evaluations and potential fielding of the system are expected as part of the Marine Corps' ongoing efforts to enhance its expeditionary warfare capabilities.